Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers. Uh, again, Donnie Boy is the uh, cameraman for today. Mm -hmm. This is my Kobe section. This mm -hmm. entire row right here, the biggest row. Um, all the other rows are not as big. And if it is, then it is like, this is the Kyrie and then this is the PGs, you know? This is the KDs, a little bit of Jordans, Jordans and stuff like that. This is like Curry's, you know? But this entire section is Kobe's, you know, it, and if you can tell, I love Kobe's, and little section right here, let's start off with this section, actually, because I Claire, can't can see nothing, <laughs> really, the lights hit that one box, oh, I can't shit. see anything, alright, so let's start off with this box, so you got the mentalities, dude, um, I don't have any phenomenons, I wish I would have some, but uh, whatever, what, what can you do, right, so this is the menta Kobe mentality one, this was a hundred bucks, uh, really good performer. The traction is insane. The cushion sucks though. The cushion is like this really crappy, really thin lunar lawn. So like it bottoms out really quickly. And um, when you do like really hard landings, it hurts really bad. So, um, but it is a drop in lunar lawn. And I like this colorway. It's like a, like an infrared colorway or what? Like a highlighter red pink colorway. I don't know. I like it. And also another shoe is the Mentality Doses. And this is the Grinch colorway. I really like this colorway as well. I wish I would have the Kobe 6 Grinches, but you know, it's a, it is a translucent also. But again, this traction is insane. Uh, it's a really hard rubber. It's, it's meant for outdoors. So I don't know why uh, Nike makes really soft rubbers, you know, because you know you can keep it hard and still have good traction indoors, you know. And also you have a really nice knit. And so it's uh, one of the, it's not the, Nicest knit to be honest, not the best feeling, but for like a hundred dollar shoe, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, so there, those are the mentalities, and let's get over into the Mamba Rages. So this is wait, what was this called? Mamba Mentality, I think. Is it the Instinct? Oh, Mamba Instinct. Sorry, yeah, Mamba Instinct. No, this is that's the like, Rage. Yeah, this is this is the Rage, and this is the Instinct. Right? They're more a mess. <laughs> yeah, see, just, just pick numbers, man. That's easier. But it's anyway, the same shoe. It's the same exact shoe, basically. I mean, what's the difference? Like, what is the difference? You know, the outsole, midsole, cushions, everything. The material is the same. So, uh, I don't know what they were thinking there. Definitely not as good of a traction as the mentality. So, and, or performer, to be honest. Um, but I just have them just to have them. So there's that. Let's start off with the Kobe's. This is the Kobe 5. This is actually from like when it came out. I got it on GOAT actually, I think. So um, yeah, it was it was used when I got it. But yeah, this is the old, probably one of the oldest shoes that I have in my collection. So yeah, I don't know if this is a crazy color. You have a carbon fiber touches on the shoe. Kind of sucks that Nike doesn't do carbon fiber anymore really. They don't, right? KDs, LeBron's don't even have carbon fiber anymore. Yeah. You have your synthetic materials, and it is, I no, the 4 was basically the first low-cut basketball shoe, but this is a lot lower than the 4. So this is kind of like a true low, is what I like to look at as, but cool colorway, and the traction is pretty, like, worn out, to be honest. But it's a weird it, pattern, too. Yeah, it is a weird pattern. But there's that. Here is the Kobe 6. You know, and a lot of you guys ask where I got these boxes. Uh, if you guys want these boxes, they're the Iris Drop Front Shoe Box or something like that. We'll leave a link below if you guys want to cop the boxes that we have. This is the Kobe 6 Fade to Black. So, um, right next to us in Westlake, we live in Agora, Thousand Oaks or whatever. Uh, but there's a Westlake, there was a new Westlake Nike store that opened up. And then, you know, we went there. And we're like so excited and then um, there's this guy that was like trying on freaking fake the black Kobe. He's like, what the, like, where'd you get that? And he's like, they, they have a whole bunch in the back. So I went to the employee and asked like all to get all of the fake the blacks in my size and he got me a whole bunch of fake the blacks, which we'll get into. But this is a six. Gray, it almost has like some green in it. Yeah, it's like a gray green color. Very interesting, but it's a really good performer. I like this and I also like this material too. I'm not mad at synthetics, dude. A lot of people don't like it, but I'm not really mad at synthetics. It's supported. Once you break it in, it gets really soft and stuff like that. But I guess it really never gets as soft as knits or meshes do. So I do understand why people don't like it as much. But anyways, there's that. 
Here's the Kobe 7 Fade to Blacks. This is more of a bluish hue or bluish, bluish tint to the shoe. Um, it has a weird, really weird midsole, drop in midsole. It's like a, if I could take it out. Okay. So like the tongue is attached to the midsole. It's really weird. It's a slipper. Yeah, it's a slipper. You, you can basically wear this as a slipper. You have a zoom unit, like right here. It says Nike Zoom in the forefoot and in the heel. So you can feel that. It feels really nice. Um, I don't think this is Lunalon. This might be Phylon. Doesn't really say on the cushion, but it's a really interesting design. Uh, materials, I don't like this material as much as in the sixes because it is a little bit thicker. But nonetheless, it's still a really nice performer. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, I love, I love Kobe's. I guess Kobe is more of like the drop-in midsole. That's his staple in his line. Yeah. You know, kind of like how the Kyrie's are, you know, Kyrie's have the outsole curvature. But yeah, I wish other shoes would use drop-in midsoles. But anyways, there's the seven there. I got two pairs of eights. I got this, I forgot what this colorway is called, but it's a, it's a yellow and kind of like really, like a lime green colorway. So I like this, it's the lightest basketball shoe in Kobe's uh, collection or Kobe's line. It's like one of the lightest basketball shoes ever made actually. So um, that's why I really like this. Traction is great. Cushion kind of sucks with the Luna line. It's really thin, but yeah, it just feels like a, feels like a, a feather, you know? You got the eights here. And what I like about these is not that it's red, but I have this inside. Boom Shaka. Ooh. Ooh, Nike full length zoom with the Luna Lawn, Nike ID. I got it from one of my IDs, so I just put in the Kobe 8 and it's really, really nice. Because the traction is so good and the upper is so minimal and the you know the overall shoe is so light um, that just I love playing in the shoe, you know? I gotta play in these. I haven't played in them in a while. Alright, I got some nines. EM. Got, yeah, the EMs, yeah. I, I, I really want a pair of fly knits, but you know, whatever, they're, they're going for a lot of money, so. Anyways, there's the EMs here. That is that a Brazil colorway? I don't know, but the, I don't think so. No. But the colorway is kind of ugly. I don't like the colorway, but it's a great performer. Coat traction, you guys already know. And then I got some nine elite highs. You know, so I got the green one. Oh, what is this called? Volt. Uh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, and then you got this ugly colorway. I got this. I think it's a Sequoia colorway. Is this Sequoia? Yeah. So I got this colorway from Ross, I think. I think it was Ross for like 80 bucks or 100 bucks on um, But yeah, so I got these. Don't really play in them too much. But I do switch in to the uh, full length zoom when I can. Because these are all pretty much interchangeable. Remember when Kobe used to have three versions? That the nine had three versions. The eight had a yeah. lot of versions as well. Yeah. Um, so you got the 10. I hate the 10. So that's why I only have one pair. But um, no, I have two pairs of 10. But I wanted to find it. And this is. We're also where I got it at the Westlake Nike store, the new one. This is a Fade to Black Fly Knit. And this is just the Blue Lagoon Kobe 10 right here. It was like a really, pretty, sh really stiff, pretty shitty material here. Um, but anyways. Okay, moving on to the 11s. So I got the Kobe 11 here. I think this is called 96 to 2000. I, I don't remember what this is called, but this is a Tinker Hat Field. Colorway right here. I really like this colorway, but yeah, not a huge fan of the 11s performance wise because the cushion was so bad for impact protection um, in the forefoot for me. So, but I really like the fly knit pattern and just how it looks and you know how you how you can actually like wear it casually also, you know. And I have my, I think this is my only pair of Nike ID Kobe's, which is kind of sad. Um, but yeah, so this is my only pair, and this is. Uh, the one that I got when they had a sale on it. So it was, it was usually like 220 bucks or something, the price, but I got this for like 120 bucks because it was like 50% off sale or something like that. And I told this guy to get it and he didn't get it. Yeah, then I went, when I went to try it, the sale was gone. <laughs> okay. um, but anyways, red lining, gold touches, and you have a gray to white gradient fly knit. Um, but flying it you can't really do on Nike ID anymore. You, they just don't really put it up anymore. But of course you have I have my Kobe one Pro Tros. I love these, especially for playing ball. Now that it's cold, I, I like to wear these as well because you know it's a leather shoe. It keeps my foot warm and dry, and also 
Falling Zoom is really comfortable, so. I love this colorway. All right, here is basically one of my favorite shoes in Kobe's line right here, and this is the Kobe 11 EM. The EM is a different cushion setup than the Elites. Uh, the mesh, different upper. Yeah, and a different upper, but the traction is insane. And uh, I have another pair right here. I have three pairs. Which one? Oops. The gray one's a lower Marion colorway. Yes, that's the Barcelona's, and this is the um, the Philip. What's the, the Philippines? Yeah, what's that called? Uh, Something Ag 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 Agamat. Agamat, yeah. Yeah. So, my favorite is the Agamat, obviously. Yeah, there's the same. And then this, and then I, I also like the gray color because there's so much 3M on it. I don't know yeah, if you guys cool. can see the 3M, but anyways. My one of my favorite Kobe's. And of course, you have the AD. A lot of people didn't like these. I I, I was I, I didn't hate them, but it wasn't the best performer ever. So I wasn't too impressed when I when I actually tested these. But I have the uh, the first colorway that came out with this really shiny uh, holographic type of you know coloring on the mm -hmm. heel counter. All right, I got two pairs of AD mids. This is the first colorway that came out, or the the first colorway that I got, and it sucks on dust. Um, so I, I got the solid rubber and it's a lot better. So that's why I have two pairs. Um, but yeah, the, it's not my favorite perform because the fit just wasn't good for my foot. Okay, in, that, in the next box, we have the AD NXTs and then the AD NXT 360. Yeah, the name, name, naming... It's gonna start getting nuts. Yeah, so... Um, but, but anyways, I don't really like this shoe too much, but I, I, I like the 360s, but definitely not my favorite. This guy, obviously, as you guys know, loves the 360s. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to get more pairs. Yeah. This guy only has one pair. Last but not least is a Visa colorway. Was it dope? Yes. It's the AD Exodus? Yes, the AD Exodus. I like this colorway. I kind of want to get the colorways that East Bay has. You know, yeah. It's solid. It's like... Like the, the tuxedo color or whatever, yeah, the monotone, and it has a solid rubber as well. But yeah, the AD is not a bad performer, but just not the best traction on dust. That's why I don't really like to, like to play in these too much. Anyways, that concludes my lineup, or my Kobe lineup, my collection. Um, these are probably my favorite colorways of Kobe's. Um, I also really like the Augie mod, but I can't hold more. Hmm. And I like the Fate the Blacks as well, but. Anyways, that's my Kobe collection. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next one.